What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mo's Hawk here. And today I am down in the garage with my two bikes, Miss Yasmin and Miss Ebony. So uh, one of my subscribers asked me my thoughts on starting on a thousand cc bike and I wanna make a moto vlog, but it's kind of a snowy, sleety mess outside and I wanna get this out just because when somebody asks me to make a video, I try to hop on it. So here we go. Uh, my thoughts on starting on a thousand cc bike, you have to respect the bike, okay? Um, it's really person dependent because no matter what any type of YouTube expert tells you or what any type of expert tells you, uh, a bike is, riding a motorcycle is a personal thing and it takes a certain amount of personal responsibility and you know it's all on you. Uh, that being said, if you are the type of person that has to push a motorcycle to its limits or you know you just want to be first anytime you're on a group ride, if you want to be the fastest every single time, I would say no. I would say no, do not go and buy a leader bike uh, just because you have a good chance of hurting yourself on one of these bikes if you just want to twist the throttle, you just want to go fast, you just want to be first. Um, however, if you're a person who has a lot of self-control and you know a thousand cc bike fits you better because you're a bigger person um there's absolutely nothing wrong with it in my opinion uh another thing uh when you go and look at motorcycles understand that motorcycles are machines that are built with weight limits um not a lot of people know that uh personally and i'm and i'm making this video from a bigger guy's standpoint guys i'm six foot tall 280 pounds so when I went and got the ZX-14, uh, you know, a couple people on Facebook, they were like, yo, why such a big bike? And my friends just chimed in, have you met the guy? <laughs> so go figure. I mean, this bike fits me a lot better than a ZX-10 does. Um, still love the ZX-10. Um, hell, I still I love that one, too. Uh, but <laughs> but overall, uh, a bigger bike fits me because I'm a bigger person. So please consider that uh, when you're going to buy a motorcycle, um, a 600cc bike, uh, especially for guys who are considering starting on anything lower than a thousand, understand that, you know, a lot of guys, summertime, we like to pick up girls, put them on the back of the bike. You know what I mean? Uh, understand if you're going to start on anything lower than a thousand, that you, if you're a bigger guy, you might not have a lot of passing power on that bike. Uh, and on a motorcycle, to me, maneuverability, passing power, these are things that keep me safe. Because I don't know how many times I've hit the throttle when somebody decided they were gonna change lanes into me and it saved my life. It's happened a couple of times. So consider that. Um, you know, these are very, I mean, it's, you know, it's something really important to consider. Uh, also, starting on a leader bike these days is different. In my opinion, you have power modes on bikes these days that cut certain amounts of the power so you are not able to go as fast as quickly on bikes these days so consider that as well if you have a bike that you're thinking about a leader bike that has power modes you can uh cut the power on that bike and uh then you know progressively turn the power up as you get more and more experience like you know you take your class you get your leader bike first and then, you know, you turn the power on, um, you know, turn the power on low when you first get it. And then, you know, year two, you want you consistently ride, put it up to medium power mode and then up to maximum power mode. I mean, that's something to consider. Power modes are a thing that you can use. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, it's basically a, this question to me boils down to if it fits you and if it's self control. Uh, if you have the self-control to start on a leader bike, your throttle hands are not crazy heavy and you don't have to do anything stupid, um, by all means, man, go for the leader bike. Uh, if you're a bigger bigger guy like me, um, six foot 280, uh, if you're a bigger person and you plan on commuting and you'd like that passing power, uh, you know, in a last ditch situation, uh, why not get a leader bike, you know, but you know, all that is trumped by all the good reasons for starting on a leader bike, in my opinion, are quickly shot down. If you are a hothead, 
if you are too competitive on the street, if you just know you're going to twist the throttle and go as fast as you fucking can when you first buy a motorcycle, don't start on the leader bike because you just have a better chance of killing yourself. And that's that's just to be completely and totally honest. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, guys, uh, that's my take on it. I hope it helps somebody out. Uh, you got any more questions for me? You want me to make any other type of videos? I take all types of video requests. And, you know, as you see, I make them as soon as possible. Hell, I got this request today and I'm going to try to get this video out today. So, uh, all right, guys, if you're not riding, start riding. If you are riding, keep riding. Hopefully your weather ain't like mine and you can actually ride. Peace.